Camo as well. Camouflage down to the bottom mid side. Find that Whoa. sniper. Royal two, where's your head? And so is the score line. 81 to 58 at the moment here. Phase. They have Whoa. control. And Frost, you know he's icy. Snipe with a double on the kill feed. It looks like he's gonna oh. change his attentions to the main slayer. Slays the demon. Chip Sonic, this is the elimination bracket. Flip the switch quick. Can't be playing in the dark. Not around here. Oh, oh. my gosh! Take space right off the spot. Push right through that long haul side. Get right back in the fight. Never give up. The problem is, is that Renegade is a slayer. Play time based off of the numbers advantage, and that's what FaZe do, right? The hill still being capped here by Shopify. FaZe are not too worried about it with that big lead. They're gonna try to get some damage on the cycle. He has to go down here. Look how well he's playing his life. He stays alive. Not only that, he stayed alive the entire time, and now he's got that bad ledge control. Get a kill on the Royal 2, and Mental's gonna get a kill on the Frosty. That'll be three down for FaZe. It should be Shopify Rebellion closing out this hill. I think it's mathematically impossible for FaZe to get the battle. Shopify Rebellion were able to weather the storm despite the fact that Renegade had the camouflage. He wasn't able to make the play to get Shopify out of this hill, and this could end right here, oh! right now, unless Royal 2 comes in with that shot. Three down goes Shopify. I see his Royal 2, 46 seconds remaining. He's got the shock rifle as well, directly aimed at the spawns of Shopify Rebellion. And he takes out Mental, but Cycle gets a kill in the feed as well. Shopify Rebellion had the game in their hands, but Royal 2 just snatches it right up. Another shot, a killing spree. And now Cycle's gonna push it, and he may just get it too. But Cycle off the top rope. Mental gets his. Three down goes Shopify. And Cycle's not able to hold it. That may just be it. Frosty's in the hill. He has the shroud. I don't see anybody from Shopify. They're taking the lead. As they don't. And because Shopify is cemented into their setup, FaZe are going to fall two down once again. And it leaves Renegade all by his lonesome. But he doesn't need any teammates. He's going to get a single kill and potentially a double on the soul fight. Make that a triple for Renegade. Renegade. Like a wrecking ball oh. goes in for the overkill. You can't stop that man. He's the deep. Shopify That's Rebellion suppressed, just sneaking that one through. 3v3 scenario. Next leg gonna be important. Renegade answers with the double kill. Is he under the triple? Oh. Come on. Oh my goodness. That's just unfair. That's just not fair. Tony, why don't you play like that? Game with the last ditch effort to at least get that flag out of the base, but a quick return is gonna give Shopify Rebellion the win. Are we going to a game five? Immediate lead against an undefeated Slayer team in Shopify. Can Whoa. they make it? Oh, that's not good. Player top C, and he gets a triple kill in the face. So Press goes from one and four to four and four immediately. Kills. He's leading, willing his team forward oh. for stake fight with the flake. Nobody accounting for stake fight. Over towards the A side, it's a huge kill on to Mental. Now Frosty in World 2, pinching from Neon. One more kill, that's it. Shopify's going home. Shopify's going home. Trying to output damage as dead zone, but Legend's there to cut him off the pass. Killing spree, he oh. waves up. Double kill for Legend. You wait for your moment before you start to Pick your chance to attack as SSG doing just that, trying to find a couple of kills. Eco will do so. It's going to be a good double to regain control now of the map. And actually, he's going to follow up and make it a triple. To push the envelope, they're going to have to be the ones to make the play. Bound just wants oh. to find the face, and he does. And now SSG know. They know where the rest of Optic Gaming are. And look at this, they're beginning to close the gap. Bound can be on one side, the rest of the teammates on the other. 40 seconds, and they're beginning to push into pipes. Big kill from Trippy, though, but it's 49 49. A one kill game. Legend could be the difference maker. They're all tied up. It's a tie. 50 to 50. Unprecedented. Newsom with a huge double kill. Dead Zone trying to play his life. Unable to do so. Lucid though, oh. down to no shield. Stellar again. They're trying to get to Bound. They're trying to help him out. The smoke screen will go down. Legend falls. Formal gets the one he needs. Stellar soars forward on double stack. Also goes down. Bound continues to take damage, as does Eco. Formal is a turret right now. Such an interesting game to watch because there's so many 2v2 oh. fights happening on the map. Elsewhere gets a double. Eco and Bound answer back immediately. 
Mound comes in, tries to get the trade. Lusa gets the pick, though. We're all tied up, 46 apiece. I mean, this could happen again. Everyone in the arena could be saying, I was there when it was back to back oh. ties between SSG and Optic. But will we see some magic from someone? Oh. It's 48 48. Big double, but still tied. Lucid gets two. Bound replies with two. Are they going to try and set a trap here and then maybe pounce on Optic when they least expect it? Optic. Here we go. Entrenched. But SSG are going to come knocking. And Dead Zone gets the kill onto his replacement legend. We're all tied up one to one. We will suddenly turn a setup into like 40 or 50 seconds if they get into the right spot. But SSG also known for breaking oh, setups as well. And that's why we're going to have a very back and forth matchup here. On on full streets as Lucid gets the double. Lucid starting to turn the screw now. Goes for the insta explode. For a moment, I thought he thought it was a frag grenade. Of course, I'm the idiot. He's the pro. There's a reason for that. Double kill for Bound. Plasma grenade from Trippy sticks to Bound and latches onto Eco as well and takes two of them for a ride. He has the ball. But they still have their hands on the ball. Uh oh. Dead zone though. Bound takes care of one. Ball dropped. Formal's gonna jump up. Did Formal get the camo? The answer is yes. Formal can have a massive influence, but he gets shut down. And four went down for Optic. And now all of a sudden, SSG are in the driving seat. SSG have PD, SSG just got the opener onto Lucid as well, so now Optic, they're on split spawns. They've got one last push to try and stay alive here, it has to be now. Has to be here, has to be now, there is no more time. Dead Zone goes, he gets cut away, Bound continues to hold, and SSG take game three. We have. That 200 point threshold has now been passed. Three members of Optic Gaming back tower. Legend's there. Legend closed additions. Legend gets a triple kill. Oh! And it's won by Dead Zone against Legend. Optic regain control, but SSG are still fighting with every ounce that they can. Trippy gets a massive double kill. Optic continue to score. Formal calls out the players that he possibly can, but it's going this way and that, and Optic Gaming continue to hold the setup. Dead Zone goes down. Trippy tried to get over to cover fire. Uh oh. Legend's there again, forging another opening, creating even more chaos. Legend still got Trippy down to no shield. Trippy falls. Two kill game. SSG need one. Eco falls. But now he's gone down. But it does not matter because Legend stands. And he stands proud because SSG are able to slam home the final kill. Yeah, he's not he showing finished. it immediately. He's not giving up that information. They're having to find out once they're like up close this. and personal. Look at this. Optics is trying to make the first move, but they've been spotted out. Player weak. Renegade Hunters, goes down. Hunts phase, take advantage of this. They got one for one. Only one kill away, and Formal decided to get up close and personal, decided to push across enemy lines, find snake bite, and gets the final kill. Formal. Cross forward. Still a nuisance. No one can quite finish Dead Zone, though, and somehow Dead Zone is still impacting the game until Frosty rips his head off with the shot. Well, absolutely moving, but you gotta wonder did Frosty put himself completely out of this fight? Trippy Frosty's got the back, and somehow Trippy gets the flank. Five the long remember. flank from Trippy gets the back smack on the sniper. Five shots will suppress Lucid back to the death cam. Renegade wasting snipe ammo, that flag on the move, and this is going to be a cap from Face Clan. Nobody from Optic choosing to overextend up the ramp, and because of it, Sig Fight has to go. Two to two now. FaZe will tie this game three up. Not just only tie this. For FaZe, however, Frosty, the last player alive, knocked to no shield. The flag's still on the move, and that could be the kill that does it. The kill that kills FaZe Clan. Formal with the flag up the tunnel. Overextenders are the only thing Optic Gaming has to worry about as Formal takes it in. He takes shots, but not enough. <laughs> Formal cap the flag and punch Optic Gaming's ticket. And make some noise for Space Station Gaming. We get Stellar, Eco, Bound, and Legend. Space Station looking to go to new heights. Give it up for him, Texas. Trippy!
rifle as well. Oh. And at the moment, he's putting it to use. Almost connects on the third for the time. Man. Looks like it should have come oh. early. Finally, he takes down Lucid, but Lucid buys a bit of time for the squad. As well, it's not just the first hill. They are set up inside the second. They have oh. the tower. And Stella into that hill. And this fight here, this could be Optic's last oh. chance to push. Oh. And Lucid will win the fight on bound. Trippy's going to fight as well. Last chance saloon. And Optic stand up. Mid down gets just pinched. He can only isolate the sandbags kill there. It's not enough. And Optic closes it out. Oh my god. And Optic are forcing Space Station's hand here. Eco has to go. He's got to go right now and make a play. He's going to make this play, but it's Dead Zone! He's going to Dead Zone against his own team! That's it! wins the 1v1! The wins Optic game one! The early Rockets here for Space Station Gaming! Dead Zone! He knows what Stella can do, and Trippy's learning as well. Oh, Formal has one bullet, and he has oh. a Frenchman's brain to hit! Of course he hits it! Of course he hits that bullet. Stella did get the sniper rifle off the respawn, though. We saw what Formal oh, did, no! and Stella! What on earth is that? That's the kill onto Dead Zone. He was the furthest player forward. Bounty's oh gonna slide. Oh my god. Nico refusing to play peekaboo with him. Oh. The moment. Jeez, legend. Oh, courtyard. I mean, that long haul at the moment, there's a lot of French blood over it. Oh. To infiltrate in their base and not close to tying this game up with a second oh, no, flight no, cap. No. You saw it happening. The map there, somehow the shotgun misses as well. The overshield will be neutralized, but it keeps Dead Zone alive in his enemy snipe one. 144 left on the clock. This is big. Bound is chasing him, but Bound gets bodied. And now you're going to see Dead Zone is a problem for Space Station. Optic trying to formulate this push. Eco down as well. And not for the first time in this series. It's X teammate that is causing Space Station's problem. That was three dead. Seller was your last player alive. It's a 1v1 here in the big oh! box. Somehow gets a back smack, but there's more kills to get. They have to slay one more time before the flag run. Eco goes into the flag. He throws a nade up onto no. the plate. It's a brilliant nade, but the shots are pretty good as well. It's four dead. It's four dead for SSG. That's Optic Rally Lane. Slow down though. Look at Formal. Look at Formal. Formal's got a sniper. They had no idea that Formal had snuck down the long haul. And Formal has almost single-handedly stopped this. Eco going to be trying to pressure him. Formal no stranger to pressure as Lucid picks up yet another kill. And now Legend is last alive inside of the Oh flag. no! Do not leave Formal on your side of the map. I mean, that long haul at the moment, there's a lot of French blood over it. Formal doing everything he can, paving the way, but Bound in the end is going to be the one that actually grabs that sniper. He does oh! it again! Triple kill for Bound on the cut! Let's do it again, though, because Formal was picking up snipes. Oh, that was a oh, rocket! Oh. <laughs> oh, Trippy! That was Trippy again! You see, Formal gets the extra rocket, and now Bound is going to be last alive, and Formal's got your wow. snipe. And this might be the win condition, right? Even if Formal throws this off the map, if you keep it oh. out of the hands of Stella, then Optic can take over. Look at the timing. It's like, oh, oh my, my god! First, first player to fall is Trippy. Let's see if Lucid and Optic Gaming there can hold is. the answer back with a snipe. Let's get into a listening with Optic Gaming. Yo, sni yeah. sniping on the short box. I kill snipe. I kill snipe. Oh, 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 watching the squads. It's a race here. It's a player. Last player alive is Eco. Eco has big responsibility here. It's 91 to 83. This could be the last play of the game. Oh, he's going to cut him down, though. Look at this. Eco by rotating all the way through gold. Moves exactly Look the play this. call that comes in from Optic. Legend gets one as well. Eco might have just won the game for SSG with his decision making. He holds the ball in his hands, and now Optic will have to watch as Eco might have closed this out. They can put it to use in the same way, control the map in the same way, and oh let boy. Formal do what he wants. He gets the camera off the back of it. The odd ball is at oh. blue as Eco explodes on the batteries. And maybe this is what they needed the side of Optic Gaming. Oh! oh. Where is that opal? It's a great play call from Optic. If they can execute here, Camel's going to be down. Oh. Big double kill coming in from Lucid. He's going to go for the triple. He grapples in the killing spree and the triple. And there is the cherry on top of the game cake. It's They're actually going to slow the game down. They're going to sit top mid, try to bait the Camo out. And Lucid maybe says, oh, oh it's a double. 48, 45, not over yet. Are they going to regret this? What we've been saying now what for feels like about an hour and a half, just so <laughs> back and forth between these two. Keller stays alive. Double kill with the Camel. Let's see what he can do at yard. Three dead. Trippy laughed alive as well, and it's going to be a triple cap here for SSG. It's 95 points and rising as the triple cap is stifling.
Legend gets the kill without getting traded. Look at this. And now Stellar with the camo, he could have a field day. Oh boy, this was what was dangerous because Stellar didn't even have to work hard with that camo to get the first few triple cap. A killing spree for him on screen. Three dead again. They're gonna get the A reset and it's perfectly timed. I think everyone watching at home was worried when the trip cap came in without Stellar having to burn the camo or even really be involved. It's gonna be a perfect game from SSG, barring an absolute miracle. 250 to three points. Oh, look at three this to three. I was gonna say, he's under too much pressure here somehow. SSG just destroyed Optic Gaming. And absolutely the off the nade, it was just an absolute nuke fest. Down around that overshield. Trippy goes for the beatdown. Oh Eko though word. turns Again. it around for it's SSG to call themselves champions. It's Legend who gets another. And the man who's playing in his first ever grand finals. The first ever international player to get this far in the tournament. He wants to be the player to end it. It's 49 as Legend looks for the 50th. Not just for SSG, but for all of international Halo. Bound will get it. And SSG will be the first winners of this season. They will be a champions here in Arlington. Well, SSG are on the main stage right now, and you can see they are ready to get those hands on that trophy. A proud moment for Europe. A proud moment for Space Station Gaming. They are your champions. And what did Stellar say? There's one player in the world we were going to make a team change for, and it's the player who just hoisted the trophy. Stellar, Legend, Eco, Baum, and Coach Elamite, Space Station Gaming are your champions here in Arlington. I feel amazing. Um, I'm from Texas, so uh, Texas is mine. Texas is mine. Texas is his, he says. Uh, it means the world to me because like, I play this game 24 seven and finally the hard work pays off. So I'm actually so happy for this win. Shout out to my teammates. Like I would, I would not do it without them. Shout out to Bond and his family. They made the transition really easy for me in the US. So, and thank you everyone for the support. Show some love to Legend! Uh, feels good. I'm really damn tired, but uh, there was a lot of good Halo played today, so yeah, I'm happy and proud of my team and more to come. I mean, yeah, there's been a lot of heartbreak, uh, especially last year, the way we went out at Worlds. Uh, we knew we had to make a change, and we did, and it's nice to be on the other side of it for once and, you know, have some ice for once, so yeah. It definitely is nice to be on the other side of it, okay? I mean, my first interview, I said to stay loud and get loud, and you guys brought it, so I appreciate the support, and I love it. Thank you so much. You heard it here, guys. Everybody, one more time, show some love to your HCS Arlington Major One Champions, Space Station 